you pass me by, saying all the lies, made you cry, I went away again, to play a show, what I had to say, you never know. Summertime, they will never be the same again. You want the May flowers, but April's here again. Them showers, they've been heavy in the garden, but I'ma keep shooting my shot just like I'm hard and begging pardon. This is TR with the RTV. We're out here at Cruising the Coast, year 2021, and we got we got somebody out here that we just admire their vehicle, and we just wanted to get them on an interview. Sir, what is your name? I'm Donald Bell. And I'm the owner of this uh, 63 uh, C10 Chevy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you a couple of questions, Mr. Bell. Uh, when did you originally purchase it, or did, did you have it all your life? Or was it a family okay. heirloom? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a family heirloom. My, uh, my grandfather brought it in 1963 on D Chevrolet, I own 90. Really? The showroom floor for $1,750. My grandfather bought it. He, Gave it to his his son, and my dad gave it to me, and it's been in the family ever since. All right, now see, I had just guessed that. I just yeah, guessed you did, that. You did, you but, did. Um, but that's, not, that's the history of that thing. That is an awesome story. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a very awesome story. And then story. actually, that I give it actually, and, and just to add add note to the story, uh, <clears throat> I had given it to my son. Really? Okay. Yeah. But before I can actually complete it at another stage, he passed away. Oh, yeah, so, sorry to hear that. I can go. Everything, everything is kind of like going towards him you know okay I, do, I really do the rest of this thing for him but, all right you know. kind of a homage to him yeah 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 so it's, oh that is awesome that is yeah, awesome yeah, so can you tell us about if you had any alterations okay. to it the it's engine what, yeah well I, it's a it, it has uh power doors it has power doors uh it has power windows it's just kind of dirty right now but i mean you know that's just been the way it is but it's got power windows it's got uh, air conditioning, it's got uh, power door lights, power windows, power steering, power disc brakes, uh, power antenna, everything is power. Okay. All power. I uh, got massage seats, the seats are massage. You know, <laughs> Man. Uh, the console was actually built, I actually built the console, all this, this, this build was happening in my backyard. Actually, that's a metal console, that console is made out of metal. Okay. And, uh, Okay, and I wanted to ask you about that. As far as doing the work, did you have any outside work as far as the shop work, or did you kind of do it all yourself? Well, I, I did everything myself. The only only thing that's anybody ever done to this truck is painted. Really? It's painted. Really? Yeah, okay. All the, all the fabricated work is, is is what I've done. Okay, so all the interior and everything. Yeah, well, I mean, a little that it is, yeah, I did interior also. Oh, so nobody beautiful. nobody other than me has ever I did any more than an interior. You know, I've done all the interior. But, you know, it's just something I've had and something that's, I've been having to work with. It's been two, two three restorations, you know, a couple of different colors because I had it so long. Okay. You know? So, how many colors have you had it? Well, I had it uh, an orange. It was an orange and it was white. Mm -hmm. It was white one time and it was orange. And uh, it, and it was a copper color. And uh, this is the last color here, which is I'm going to go back, probably go back with the same thing. Okay. Now, what is this color called? Uh, this is called Amber Exorcist. Amber X. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a color that actually, you know, that comes on Lamborghinis. You know, it's kind of like a Lamborghini color. Okay. You know. All right. Yeah, it's well, kind of by yeah. hot hues, you know. So okay. Uh, well, what about your engine? Uh, well, uh, what's in there? Let me, let me, uh, let me, yeah, let me tell you. All this is fabricated. I've done all this so, stuff. Man, you know, man, the hood, man, and it's a, quick. it's a hood that's operating. It don't, it just don't sit there. Okay. And, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And this would probably be the only truck that you see with a wrap, with a wrap to it. You don't see all the interior, you see all, it's a wrap hood. Right, right, I see it's a wrap hood, yeah. You don't see many of that. You know? Okay, now what size is this engine again? This is a 355. Okay. 355. 355. Yeah, and it's got air conditioning, power steering, I mean it's got the whole thing on it. Okay. So, and uh, just something to do, back your luck. Something to do, man, just something to do, man, and that's what this thing has been. You know? Okay. So, uh, uh, even in, even in the back back there, the, the uh, got the power turning covers. Okay. Got, even got the power uh, uh, tailgate. The tailgate is power. Okay. So can we go around to the back? Look at this. Okay. This is this is power. This is power. It operates from the inside. And, uh, okay. This is a tailgate. All right. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just popped around. Okay. This is the tailgate here. But now that's 
air, that's a air pump. But this is tailgate. So you got an air suspension on there too? Yeah, you? I got air suspension in the back. Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, uh, power tailgate. You know. Yes. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. It has a. Uh, it has uh, a converter on here. You can actually use plugging TVs on and charging phones. This is uh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, this is where all, everything goes. That was all the batteries and stuff, and all the controls, convertibles, fuses, all that's back there. So all the modern amenities. Oh my God! Well, this is a beautiful something vehicle. Something different that you won't ever see in these trucks too. See, this is this is added. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. See that actually, ain't got, and this, and I built this too. Right, because they're usually a little higher yeah, up and right wrap around. Yeah. This is actually the gas tank. The gas tank is actually right here. It's been transferred right there. Okay. Well, that is a beautiful vehicle. That's yeah, a beautiful. Man, you know. Okay, hey, man. I wish some of the guys was out here, man. Uh, you know, because we, we run with this group, old school cruisers. Old school you know? cruisers. Yeah. We were supposed to be out here, but then they're not out here, but then I'm here. Well, I'll tell you what but we want to do. I'm always here because I'm always, I'm always everywhere. Right. Well, I'll tell you what we want to do. We want to get your contact information of your car club. Okay. And that way we go ahead and put it up under the, where we're filming right now and put any contact information or any events y'all got y'all going to, if, okay. if you wouldn't mind, sir. Not at all, man. Okay. All right. Well, we'll... Sure the guys will be, they'll be pleased with that, too. Oh, well, all right. Look like we got, look like we got a, a, a fellow... Enthusiast, which is me, yeah. to another man that actually built it, and I'm wishing to build one. <laughs> so maybe my wife will uh, allow me to have a little bit of money now that she see how beautiful it, be it can become. So, with that being said, we've been signing off. This is TR with RTV with Yale Radio uh, Radio Cast, and we are signing off for this evening, the first day of Cruising the Coast 2021. All glory to God. All glory to God. You hear that said one more time. God is responsible for this bill. All glory to God. There you go. There you go. All right.